Hello, welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT and we're in my test world. On the left hand side, we are logged in as the Game Master with all of our powers to do whatever we like. And on the right hand side, we're logged in as a player for Sorryman. Um, because we're going to be looking at a module in this one. Now, if you're looking at the left hand side and my active modules list, there's a new one on there we haven't looked at before, which is called Light Switch. And that's what we're going to be looking at. Now, before we get started and actually having a look at that, relatively simple uh, little module, but potentially really useful for, well, may maybe, maybe useful for you. Um, this is one of the rippers. So we've already looked at some of the rippers. One's wall height. Uh, we've looked at levels, the carousel combat tracker, all by ripper. Um, really, really good modules um, and all completely free. Now, before we start, though, caveat, this one is not free. So this is part of Ripper's premium range. So what that means is that you need to be a member of his Patreon um, and be paying a, a monthly fee. It's really cheap. I can't remember what it was. It's literally, you know, a couple of dollars kind of thing um, or pounds if you're in the UK, of course. Um, not very much at all, but that gives you access to his entire suite of premium modules. You're not get, just getting light switch for that. Um, and important to say, uh, I have paid for that out of my own pocket so that I can demonstrate some of these. Okay, so it's not sponsored or anything. So you'll get my honest opinion and evaluation of any of these ones that we do. And we will look at a series of these premium content ones so that you guys can make decisions on whether you feel that they're useful enough to also, um, you know, join his patron and uh, donate to all of the work that he's doing. Because uh, remember, it's not just about profit. He puts a lot of effort into these. Um, and so when we are paying for usage of them, we're actually supporting him in that development. So it's a, it's a good thing, but not everybody can afford to. Right, stop going on. So we're looking at light switch. What the heck does that do? All right, so we know already that just with the standard foundry stuff, uh, we have all these lights here and we can turn them on and on, uh, on and off um, as the DM. Um, there's some up here. Just by right clicking, I can turn them on and off and stuff. But Sorryman can't see them from where he is, so it's making no difference. Um, but Sorryman can't do that himself. Now, we looked at the torch add-on before so that he can walk around with his own torch on and stuff. But if I just move south and he gets close to that wall, he can see, oh, behind the curtains, he can see some daylight. So maybe he wants to open a window, a door or something and let some light in. Great. He can now see stuff. Um, but of course, that's only going to be where the light is. But if you look just above on the right hand side, just above his token, there's this little red lamp here. Now it's only little because that's the size I made it. If he, as the player, clicks on that, he can turn that light on uh, and he can switch it off. Uh, oddly enough, that's why this is called light switch. <laughs> because it gives the players that ability to just switch lights on and off. Um, with that off, he cannot see the light switch over on the left. But with that one on, he can now see that light switch and he can switch that one on as well. Now, because these are just normal lights on the right hand side, uh, the DM can turn them on and off as normal. Um, but they are set with their normal light stuff with regard to radius, their color, uh, any animations we've got on them, whatever we want that to be, you know, siren light. Yeah, that's going to do somebody's head in. Let's not. Uh, energy fit. Whatever it is we choose to do, we can do that. So to set these up, the only thing we need to do is when we come into a light, if we've got the module installed and active, under advanced options, right at the very bottom, there literally is this thing to say, is it a light switch or not? That's it. And if you say, yes, it's a light switch, it's a light switch. Uh, the only other option we've got is to put an image in. So for these ones... On the right hand side here, um, I just chose to use this little lantern icon uh, because where I've placed these, they're little lantern icons <laughs> um, on these pillars. So we can select a little image and then we can just say it's a light switch. Uh, and of course, I can turn them off and say they're not a light switch anymore. And if I update that, this one's gone. Sorryman can't see this switch anymore. But again, I can just come back in and add that back on. And now Sorryman can turn that on and off. So, I mean, could you do the same thing using Monk's Active Tile Triggers? Absolutely. You could just have a little little tile there with that image on and say, well, when the player clicks on it, then it will activate that light or not. 
So there's absolutely a way to work around it. So do you need this module? No, but how handy. It's really nice little tidy, easy to use module um, that just enables you to do that. So especially if you've got a, like a location where players come from a lot, go to and from a lot, um, and they might want to light certain things. Um, or maybe there is a, an abandoned castle where, yes, there are old oil lamps around um, and the party choose to take advantage of that and going, oh, well, we'll go and light the lamps that are already there. Maybe they need to top them up with oil that they've bought with them. Whatever it is, they can do that and they can kind of take control of it if, if you want them to do that. So, uh, yeah, really, really simple. Not too much more to really say on this one. Um, yep, yeah, it is part of the premium range. So, yes, you do need to be paying a small subscription fee to uh, to Ripper to be able to access this module. Um, I would personally say if you're only doing the Patreon for this module, you could probably use Monk's Active Tile Triggers instead, which is 100% free. Um, but if you can afford to support other content creators then yeah please do because you know <laughs> that's why we end up with all the really really cool stuff um so yeah that's it end of this video um in the next couple of weeks we will look at some of other stuff that ripper has done um and have a little play with those uh, and i suspect we will build a stronger and stronger case for supporting ripper's work through his patreon as we go um, but again, I have no personal vested interest in this. I'm not getting any kind of sponsorship. I don't get anything free from Ripper. Um, and again, part of my philosophy is that I'm going to give you my honest opinion and show you honestly what I think it can do and can't do. Um, and if there's other alternatives. Uh, so no, at this point, I will not be ex expecting accepting favours or monies or anything like that from any content creators. Uh, and if I ever do, I will make sure you know loud and clear that that's what's happening. Enough gabbling. What do you think? It's a nice one, isn't it? See you in the next video.